Good morning. I just woke up. I'm just having my coffee. <laughs> um, today's the day. Today I start Copaxin. Um, my nurse was not able to actually come to the house and like be with me for my first injection so I have to do it myself at home without a nurse present so my husband is going to be here with me um, just to make sure like everything is safe. Um, Copaxin is considered one of the safer medications for the treatment of MS but it's still advised by my nurse that I not be alone when I take it. I'm honestly really nervous and like scared and I'm really struggling with my medical anxiety this morning. Um, it's, it feels like a lot and sometimes I want to cry and sometimes I'm okay and sometimes I'm just really nervous. <laughs> um, oh gosh, yeah, I just, I have crazy medical anxiety and so the idea of a new medication is just, it's a lot and I'm just really scared <laughs> that that there might be side effects that are just like not um so great <laughs> so uh yeah i will kind of update you when it's closer to time it's morning right now and i don't meet with my nurse virtually until five o'clock it's only 9 30 right now Whew, so i'm just kind of like digesting and processing and trying to stay away from google but um, trying to garner some information from the MS community um, about kind of what I can expect and um, how scared I should actually be. <laughs> well, I did it. I did my first Copaxin injection. Um, I am having a little bit of sight reaction. It's kind of swelling up a little bit. There's some like hive looking, I'll just show you. Um, it doesn't hurt. It feels very hard and warm. Um, and it's just kind of getting bigger and spreading. So that's fun. So my nurse is going to call me back in 15 minutes and she's going to advise me on what to do about my swelling leg uh, when she gets back to me. Today will be my second day on Copaxin. Uh, the dosing schedule for this medication is every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and if you, like, don't do- it's basically every 48 hours. You can choose what your own dosing schedule is, I guess, but, like, that's what mine's going to be. Um, I wanted to just kind of come in and touch base. I never did film the next section for after my nurses got back to me, so I just wanted to kind of pop in and let you know what happened. Um, the welt on my leg that had looked a bit like hives with the jagged edges, it did eventually round out and it reached a maximum size of like, I don't know, like two fingers. So it was like two fingers long and two fingers wide. So my nurse had another nurse call me because if it was in fact hives, then I was to be advised to stop taking Copaxin and to, in fact, like switch to a different medication. Um, but the second nurse who called me and I was like describing what was going on with my leg, uh, she decided that it sounded like a pretty normal sight reaction because it did eventually turn into a big welt that just had the rounded edges. There was no jaggedness. It never was itchy. It was never painful. It was just a big raised spot that was firm to the touch and um, warm as well. If I touch my leg, I can still kind of tell where I injected it. Like it's still kind of firm in that spot, but it's come down quite a lot and I think we're okay. So tonight at five o'clock will be my second injection and uh, I'm expecting that I will probably have another site reaction. I'm hoping I won't, but 
I'm going to make sure that I take my medication when my husband is around because my nurses did say that site reactions can vary at times and um, can be different each time depending on where you've injected and just your body's tolerance of the medication. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, I tolerated it really well. I was afraid that I wasn't going to sleep after taking it in the evening, but I was actually very, very, very sleepy by bedtime, and I've had no other side effects so far. Um, they've said that sometimes people can have like influenza type side effects as well, like they just feel kind of icky, and I haven't had that at all either. Um, it, it was just the skin reaction. So I'm hoping that if I'm going to have side effects, that that's all it is, just kind of some raised skin, and then that'll be it. Um, that would certainly make my life a little easier. <laughs> and just the generalized sort of anxiety surrounding the me medication um, lesser, because I would know that it's just like, oh, it's raised, it's like getting a cut, and then you're done. I did get some video of my first injection, but I think I'm not going to add that to this video just because I do have my nurse speaking in the background and I don't, I never asked her for her permission to post with her voice in the background. So I want to make sure that I am respecting her privacy. So I will take my injection tonight and when I do, I will record the process of taking that injection and then kind of what, if any, site reaction occurs. I wanted to make sure that like this feels like a really honest perspective. Um, there's no character here. There's no portrayals. Like I just, I just am who I am, and I wanted to bring you on my journey as who I am. So I guess I will see you tonight when I take my injection. Okay, so I have my injector. It's already ready and loaded. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate, I guess, how I do my injection. This will be my second one that I've ever taken, um, so I'll let you know if I have any reactions. I just have so many stretch marks. Okay, so I'm going to, I've got a chunk of fat here. I'm going to put it there. Oh, I'm nervous. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to push the blue button. I'm, okay, push the blue button. Whew. We can do it. We can do it. I'm going to push the button. Okay, I did it. See my bump right there? I'm gonna go get an ice pack. Hey, it's Saturday. I just wanted to check in and let you know that um, my shot on Friday did go okay. So there was a little bit of pain that was associated with the, um, with the injection. It felt kind of like a burning. Sorry, these are my emotional support Twizzlers. <laughs> um, anyways, there was like a, a bit of a burning sensation. Um, the area did get quite red, and uh, but I think that was more because I had like an ice pack on it. Um, so it did get a bit red, and then uh, there was kind of like some welting of the skin, um, mainly in one of my stretch marks uh, where the, the skin had just kind of bubbled out. So my husband says that this morning he can still kind of see like where I had injected and where that welt was previously. Um, but for me looking down on my injection site, like it looks completely normal. It doesn't really hurt today. Um, so it's, it's okay. I think that the majority of the reactions that I've had so far have been superficial. They've just been kind of like skin reactions where I'm getting like welts and some redness and then it goes away after a couple hours. So I think that we will continue on this journey 
and just kind of like see what happens. You know? It scares me a bit because people had mentioned that with Copaxin you can have like a different reaction every time you take the medication and I don't really want to experience different reactions. But so far they've been consistent so that leaves me feeling like, well not even consistent because this second time taking it was actually like less of a welt than the first time. So. I will continue on this and I will let you guys know how that goes, but I think for the time being, um, I just want to thank you guys again for being here with me and joining me in my, you know, journey to start my medication, start Copaxin, start my MS <laughs> journey. Um, and I hope that I can continue posting this kind of content as well as like new content if there's anything you guys want to see like I would love to hear any suggestions because I do I do a lot outside of being chronically ill <laughs> so yeah just let me know um, and I guess I will see you later bye